So what the time you have the it won't play all the way through because I've set this to a half bar length for the inserted note length. Okay, so let's play it. What the time you have the and it only goes up to half what a bar the time and then stops. What the time you have the what if you look at the length up here, it's set to 0.2, which is two beats. So let's put it up to three beats. You won't visually see the note change here because it's just represented by its start position with a diamond. But I'll just put the mouse over this two and scroll up one click. Oh, no. No. Okay, I'll manually type in three then. Okay. Now it'll last three beats to this point. Okay, here we go. What the time you have the dread? 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 What the time? What the time? Uh, that wave player, it's just um, glitching a bit, loading into RAM because of this screen grab software. What the time you have the dread? What the time you have? 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 What the time you have the dread? Yeah. What the time you have the dread? If I wanted to make that shorter, I just set my inserted note length to a quarter, pop what it back in, and it sounds like this. What the time? What the time? What? What the time? And for two what what's there? What the what the what the time? What the what the now what the what the, the what the doesn't quite work. So I'll take these two out and set the inserted note length to something smaller, an eighth. Let's what try that. What the what the, what the, what the time? What the, what the, what? Still too long. Okay, let's set it to a sixteenth. What, what? And we get the what, what, and then this one will set to um, a half bar. What the time you have? And we'll increase its length to three beats. Okay, now it'll go what, what, what the time you have there, dread, and stop around here just before the what, what comes in, right? What, what, what the time you have the dread? What, what, what the time you have the dread? What, what, what the time you have the dread? Of course, then I can mess around with the pitch. What, what, I can put the pitch the up to you. Have the dread. Yeah, what, 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 like what the time you have the dread? What, what, what the time you have the dread? What, what, what the time you have the dread? 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 What the time you have the dread? Do you, so, do you see what you can do with these note lengths? They can really help you be creative, especially if you start detuning samples, just using a little bit of the sample and messing with the envelope as well inside the sample player to get things, sample sounds fading in and fading out, and, and mix them into your patterns. That can be really, really cool. So we'll take that out for now. Okay, let's move on. And the next thing is I... Like I said, the phone went off and annoyed me shitless, and uh, I have reset everything up. And uh, earlier I talked about playing, um, being able to change the input notes and output notes, and how that allowed you to change the in notes from your master keyboard, so you could assign a set of congas or toms, for example, to the black keys and make it much easier to play them. I'm actually going to show you that now, because I've wired in a MIDI system and a port and everything and got it all wired up and I've attached a master keyboard to this machine okay so I've put in I've chosen three empty rows and inside my RMF I've put in three conga samples they're not very nice samples but I was just trying to get things done quick and they're on A sharp 1 B1 and C2 okay so there's the out note set for the three congas. A sharp one, B one, and C two. Now let's go and switch on the camera. Okay, now if I just zoom in to the keyboard, do, 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 I have got, now what are they on again? They're on A sharp one, B one, and C two. Okay. Okay, A sharp, G. A sharp one, B, and 
Which other one? I've forgotten now. A sharp one, B one, and C two. A sharp one, uh, B one, and C two. But that's A one. I mean, um, sorry. Yeah, that's A one. What the hell is it playing on that note for? Let me just have a look. This must be something to do with RMF. Oh, because I've got the in note set to a duh dildo. Right, set the, <laughs> yeah. Now normally, the way that this drum map defaults is the in note matches the out note, okay? That's how it opens default. So if I set all these the same, and set that one to C2, okay. So as it is at the moment, whoops, as it is at the moment, the three congas are set to A sharp one, B1 and C2. Now if you had to play the notes on a keyboard without this drum map that match those notes inside the RMF. I'll go back to the camera now. Here we are back at the camera. I'd have to play those three notes. And they're not exactly on. Can you, can you see that on the screen? Let's have a look. And they're not ideal notes for playing a pattern because they're so close together. It's difficult. So let's map them to these three black keys here. Did you catch that? Yeah, these three black keys in the middle of the keyboard. Okay, so back to the screen. So I'll set the in note to, um, what do we want? The first one will be F sharp one, uh, two, sorry, F sharp two, that's the first black key. Then A, uh, sorry, G sharp two, and a sharp two, which is B flat two, okay. So now I've mapped the in keys to the black keys on the keyboard. Go back to the camera. And now it's so much easier. So much easier to play them. Well easy, man. I'll just put the pattern into play. And play along. That's how you remap your in and out notes so you can play whichever notes on the master keyboard you want by setting the in notes here to play the out notes going to your software or whatever on the right keys that you want, the right note numbers that you want to hear being triggered from the keys that you've chosen in your in note setting. Okay, now that leaves us one other thing, uh, which is what about bringing in external MIDI kit? Okay, I talked about that earlier, and I've actually set that up because I thought, bloody old man, we should actually show you this, yeah? Back to the camera. <laughs> 